Let's look at the debate you are leading in Parliament tomorrow. So it's to discuss serious labour shortages in the food and farming sector. Just explain uh, the nature of those shortages and the impact they're having. Yeah, well, I'll describe what's happening in my own constituency, North East Fife, which is well known for uh, vegetables, but also soft fruit produce. And the reality is, is post our departure from the EU, there was a, a seasonal agricultural worker scheme put in place to help farmers manage those uh, shortages, because previously it was EU Labour that did a lot of that work. And, and the reality is, is the scheme is oversubscribed and there's 30,000 places um, being taken up. The Home Office are supposed to be releasing another 10,000. But because of the Ukraine situation uh, and other factors, people are arriving late. They're potentially less skilled than they were previously. And we really are in a situation where the government says it wants to focus on food security, but without ensuring that uh, farmers have the labour they need to carry out the work, there's a challenge that the, the, those farmers won't be in business in the future. And why won't local workers do the work that's needed? So, absolutely. During uh, COVID, I know farmers in my constituency did a lot of work working with DWP, etc., to attract uh, local people. But the reality is, is the work is seasonal and it's for short periods of time. And local people generally are looking for, um, you know, paid employment that, that exists uh, all year round. There's no doubt as well that um, it's hard work. Um, and we have relied on people coming from overseas to do that uh, work before. That. You know, I'm supportive of local people uh, doing this work, but I do also know that farmers in my constituency have done a lot to try and secure this. And this is the situation across the UK. Farmers are struggling to recruit the labour needed to get food on our plates.